Right, hello my fellow Spudley Kinses, and welcome to another episode of RimWorld. So as you've just seen, we have arrived at the small ruin that we set off towards last episode. I have Soda uh, loading up a caravan so that he can go grab some ale because he has alcohol dependency and he's withdrawal for 73%. And there's quite a lot of ale and beer at the mine, so he's going to go grab that. You guys, you arrived at the small ruin. That is very small and it's on a river. That's very strange. Okay, that's Park the Donkeys semi nearby. You're all starving, right? We'll give you till the morning then. Let's get the tents out. Oh. Tyranny of Hell or Radius? How many? Just the one. Another imp. Nimble, psychically deaf, no talent cannibal. You're pretty atrocious. What is that gun though? Lovebringer, a rune hand mortar. Good for his deadliest. Wand is charged with mad. It's a wand? Ooh. Uh, Tonlico is incapacitated. One hour. Are you gonna actually attack her straight away? No, she's just going to the campsite. Fine. Uh, you up? You're up. Good. Go melee attack this person. I need you to take out this imp. There we go. Come on, Tonlico. You don't take any of that. You basically ripped her arm off. Oh, you you just completely annihilated her. Fine. Well, we got the wood and we got Lovebringer. Damage is 15, stopping power. This is pretty good. Dead smoke? You want to have that? Sure. <laughs> uh, the tents are basically done. Brent is... You set up your tent and no one else's. Not really on, is it? Yeah, malnutrition minor. Oh, hurry up and then you can have some berries. Some tasty floor berries. Come on. Dust draft up. Come here, please. Let's... We can claim it? Oh, even better. Claim it and open it. Let's go in. Oh, I meant lats, but oh, hello. You are ginormous. These are all going to be giants, aren't they? Okay, right, everyone get back. Missy, Missy, where are you? Because it, Missy. Oh, they've got a bow. Attacking Skylar. Uh, let's get out of the way. Oh, run, Brutus, run. Okay, Missy, no, get up here. And hopefully they'll come round. Oh, hopefully? Hang on, is this deep water? Chest deep moving. So they can even walk in that? I think they're literally stuck there. I don't think they can get through. Yeah, they can't. They can't walk in that. <laughs> okay, interesting. Right, so let's close that door. So I guess then that's mine in here. This is going to be a weird, weird raid. Oh, Brent's gained magical achievement level. Nice. We need to get to reverse engineering. So I don't really care which way we go. Simple chores. Yeah, let's do that. Fine. And I guess we'll keep mining. Lats, if you wouldn't mind. That is deep moving water as well. They're literally stuck. They can't move. Uh, what's the quickest way to do this? Probably, I guess, to deconstruct the walls. We can't deconstruct them. Okay, mining it is. The Divine Secretary of Ertilor is making a plea for any brave dragon slayers to lend their aid. Their settlements are being terrorized nightly by an ancient dragon once thought a mere myth. Terrified villagers reported that they have seen it return to its lair nearby, where a brave party might be able to pace it down and stop its reign of terror. This is a dangerous quest and not to be accepted lightly. Okay, so you get 18 relations, fine. Oh, and we get info about Ulu's helm. We'll get knowledge about Ulu's helm. We have to do that. Spies in four days. Oh, we have to do it. It's already active. Uh, where is it? Uh, it's quite far out of the way, but I feel like we have to do that. Uh, how long would it take? To we can't even reform caravan. Okay, I guess what we'll do is we'll see if we can grab anything from this place. And then we'll just go. I don't think we've got much of a choice. I feel like we have to do this. 
So we'll get lats to finish mining up to here. We'll see if this room contains anything. We'll see if we can actually get into the rooms. And I think we'll just go. Yeah, our caravan's been detected anyway. We're going to have to go soon anyway. Green Missy got a can, has reached the biological age of 13. Please, for love of God, have some decent passions. Um, ecologist, oh, that's good. Animal handling for herbal or fort. That's actually really, really... Oh, those psychics is sensitive. Oh, both of them fit so well. Yield 20, butchering efficiency 20. We've already got Skylar as our cook, and he's a butcher, so I don't mind that much. Uh, we don't want Lush. Tycoon is really good for persuasion. It's a shame about the double passions. We've only got you and intellectual, but that's not a bad thing. Uh, we can get two others. And we've really we've got no passions in archery. I'm going to have to get you a passion in what something. So melee. I mean, you're not bad at melee. Actually, you're better at melee, weirdly. Enjoy studying mechanoid gestation. But she... <laughs> I'm not sure she loves playing poker. Okay, intellectual melee. I guess we'll go for psychically sensitive, just because obviously she is our best at magical aptitude anyway. And then she can have that and she'll be amazing. I guess we'll go Herblaw. It's a toss-up really between Herblaw and Mining. I think Mining will be quite good on a daily basis, but Herblaw, we are gathering berries suddenly, so I think that's fine. You're going to be... Oh! <laughs> uh, you're going to be very naked, aren't you? Do we have any other clothes? Like, could you uh, donate maybe your leather vest? Uh, Brent, you must have something. Yeah, you drop them. Then Missy can at least have them as well. 242 load. That is nice. Right, here we go. Oh. oh, an ancient golden chalice. I would like that if we can. Uh, it does look like there's a side room as well, so that might be quite fun to try and get to. Can you shoot him? It was a bit... Oh, hang on. That's shallow water. Uh, everyone get up. Run backwards. Run, 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 run. No, Missy, get hit. Not letting Brutus die. Okay, he's fine. He's fine. Ooh, clothing. Brent, go strip, please. Thank you very much. And you have a decent sword. I don't know why it's making me attack it. I thought we could just, like, open it up, but apparently not. Uh, is this all chest deep water? It is. Oh, that's annoying. We'll get lats to start hitting. Oh, Len became an adult. Len, 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 Len. Please be good. Please be good. Double passion healing. I will take it. Uh, intellectual. Yes, we got a passion in it. God. Uh, Herbal is the only other passion you can do that you're not horrendous at, so I'm going to take it. Now... Brave would be amazing. Prodigy would also be nuts, seeing as you got research speed 130%. They'll be upset without a dedicated lab, though, and we don't have that capacity right now. Uh, hard Worker would be really good, plus 20%. Mm, they're both really good. I'm going to go for Brave. I think Brave works better. There we go. And, yeah, you've instantly taken those clothes off. That's fine. Okay, we just need you two to then focus on breaking these walls down so we can actually get round. Right, I think we can actually get... Oh dear, chest deep moving water right here. They can't get to us anyway. But it does look like we've got a little treasure room here. Get back, get back, get back now. Run. Short flight. Okay, you're safe, you're safe. Good. Get back in there. Uh, get to there then. You carry on attacking that. Oh, you attack that one as well. Fine. Raid. Niflheim? No! I don't want Niflheim. A Jotun and a Ogre. Um, I think I'm going to rely on Tonlico, if you don't mind. Nacho Cheese, get here as well. Don't attack Dead Smoke. Dead Smoke, run. Run your ass off. Oh, your right long's been shot. You're fine, you're fine. Tonlico, get over here quick. That's your gun? That was pretty nice. That's what you're going to be fine. Four hours. Can you go rescue Dead Smoke Soda? This is... Uh, no. Assure, assure safety. Come in. Just attack them. Attack them now. <laughs> Help me. Please. And all needs treatment. Dead Smoke. Dead Smoke, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Your left leg and your rung destroyed. You're fine. Just unfortunate circumstance. Right, you two are fine. Good. Okay, you rest up for a minute. I'm going to have to figure this out over here. Draconic Flight. Madam, what are you doing? Get over here. Okay. Now do dragon spit. There we go. They're on fire. They're on fire. Right. Now melee attack. Now melee attack. Heal him. Good. Okay. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Tonlico, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Coastal Troll still on fire. Good. Uh, we need that love bringer as well. 
Just get this one down. Severe pain. Like one more good hit. Okay, extreme pain. They're not going down. Why aren't they going down? Stop shooting the dragon. There we go. They're down. They're down. They're down. Uh, they're assaulting. They're, they haven't given up. What What do we do? Because I'm worried that Tonlika's just going to die unless we start healing now. No, get inside. Just go. We're going to have to sacrifice our guests, I think. Are they any good? Could we use them? I could use your gear. Why can't I finish them off? Um, okay. No, that's going to be for prisoners, just so that you can capture them. Soda, I need you to go capture Shota. Go do that. Um, right, Tonlika, you're going to be fine. M Madam, you want... Yeah, you're doing it. Fine. Good. Okay, yeah, grab that herbal medicine. Hopefully, he doesn't get you. Yeah, you're fine. What are you doing? You're attacking... Oh, no, you're attacking Madam now. Run, Madam, run. Everyone get inside. I'm going to say, Nacho Cheese, come to here. Crush. Amidst the unending cycle of survival and solidarity in the colony, an unexpected tenderness has begun to unfold between two of its members. Madam finds herself in the grip of newfound affection towards Nacho Cheese. <laughs> Shadow by uncertainty, a lingering question of whether the feelings are mirrored in the heart. Caught in the dance between desire and doubt, Madam is teetering on reaching out or retreat. Can we postpone it? I mean, it's not the best time. How long do we have? Three hours. I'm sure you can fix it in three hours. Right, okay. Now shoot. You just need, like, one good hit. One more. Right, shot in the arm, shot in the leg. Uh, you've got little paint. God, this, these are tanky. Come on, Nacho Cheese. There we are, 17 hours. We're getting there. Medium pain. Oh, God, Madam, what are you doing? Madam, run. Run away. Jesus. <laughs> One hit from that and you would be absolutely destroyed. Oh. Um, okay, be be brave. Go talk to Nacho Cheese. Tonlika, are you fine then? You're fine. Okay, fine. I was unsuccessful. Oh no. Fail to romance me, minus 15. That's sad. Physically hideous. <laughs> oh dear, Nacho Cheese. How's it going in here? I would like to try and actually see what's in here. I don't know what's going on, but it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get to that ancient golden chalice, which is kind of the only thing I would really want from here. I didn't want you to do that. I wanted you to jump to it, funny enough. Not to there. I said to there. Brent, if you can actually hit it, you're stood right next to it. There we go. We've got some gold. Len, can you jump to there? No, jump to there. It won't let you jump to there for some reason. We got a tiny bit of gold. Okay, fine. Okay, now can you open that? There you go. What are we going to get? Demon blood. Okay, not bad. Okay, open this. See what we can get. What have we got? Packet survival mills and some silver chalices. Okay, it's not too bad then. Okay, we do have a bridge to the chest over there. Um, Is this shallow moving? This is all shallow moving. But as soon as we break this, they're going to be able to get to us. Okay, they're dead anyway. Good. Okay. Right, new plan. Come around, come around. There we go. Right. Okay. Brent should be able to open all of these. And it looks like there is a chest there we can open. Good. Right, Lats, you get on breaking that. And then we can inspect the rest of them. And we're good. Um, oh. Dragon's blood. Okay, brilliant. We've got more dragon's blood. Nice. Oh no, Dragon's Blood, that's different. It grants speed, pain resistance, fierce combat capabilities, and flame nullification. It's extremely addictive. Okay, well that's quite cool still. Ooh, Sapphire Staff. That one has, ooh, Burgask, Emerald Battle Axe. Yes, please. Then, the chest, what do we get in this? I can't even see. Ring of Holding. A treasure to merchants and traveling warriors alike. This ring grants increased carry capacity for those long campaigns and trading caravans. Three emerald skulls. Len, this should, I think, increase your beauty. It does. And we need to get you to increase your beauty. Beak and other desperate refugees are approaching. They say their crop blight starved Matha village. They begged to stay at Dragonfall Inn for 17 days. Sure. There's just two of them. Uh, that's fine. We don't want this one. Can we release them? nice oh they died oh it's fine <laughs> can you open that wooden chest 3.1% oh that's not good um or a calcum and some meals okay nice okay that wasn't horrendous i'm gonna load all this onto the pack and then we're just gonna get out of here that was so quick there was nothing we could do about that shame 
Oh, we lost Donkey for one. I'm so sorry. I install these quickly before that snake gets hungry again. Okay, I think that was everything we could have got from here. Right, another dragon slaying quest. What is going on? Got one there as well. What do we get for this? Or some, share some information about a legendary artifact. Three days. 2.6 days. Just go straight to the dragon's lair. 1.3 days. And then what we can do is then turn back. We can then get Len magical attunement. And that'll be amazing. Then she can be another mage. And then we'll turn around and attack that dragon. Purple wants to stay with us. You are a fast learner, brawler, artist. You're a very capable animal handler. You've got pretty good persuasion. And you're really good at melee. I see no issue with that. Let's check for quests with you. Item stash. Sure. Catch a fort. Oh, persuasion. That would be amazing if we can get that. Uh, where is it? There. That's not far either. So we can do that, then that, then that. Okay, that works. Well done. I'm going to say yes then. Welcome, purple. Uh, melee 13. Animal handling 12. Persuasion 7. We need a prison. Dave David's is amazing. If we can get someone to go replace David... Julia as a, a false angel in the church is kind of a flex. Let's get Julia then to go into the church. And what I'll do is I will get Purple to go out into the world with David and we will make a prison. I think that'll be good. Well, we could do with converting you, couldn't we? Maybe what I'll do is I'll send you to be converted first. What we'll do is we'll get the prisoners to be delivered to the church. They can be converted, then sent to the prison. Then they can be recruited. And then we can send them off out into the world. That is the idea. Someone did say what I could do to found a town is I could just, just increase the amount of settlements I can have to three. Uh, settle a couple more down. Then found a town and then abandon the other two settlements. I could do that. But I want to see whether I can do this first. Because this seems like a good way to get... Uh, people anyway and this is kind of like our town i'll see how these two cope if we're not getting ample prisoners and people come in then i will just found a town myself how's our research coming along oh we can actually do some stuff hang on hang on hang on i didn't realize that um where's storage oh <gasps> prototype bird tents get that tent there that would be amazing these guys are on their way to the dragon lair we are start missy's starving the rest of them are fine oh arcanium help missy can wear the arcanium helmet there, oh, she looks cool now. I bet you are, her arcane load is going to be nuts. Right, here we go. Uh, let's grab... I'll do. And a shaman merchant. Hey, look at... Oh. No, I didn't want it here. I guess we can try and sell some of the goods we've got. We'll set it as a home area everywhere. There we go. And then we can just sell them anything we've got. I think that's how it works. I doubt it includes what's on the donkey, though. And that should be fine. And the fact that we're on a home area hopefully is enough to sell it to them. It is excellent. Okay. We get 1500 for that. Okay. Let's not sell the Pandora's box. Guess we won't sell them. All the silver chalice. So you can just you can just have it. Sure. Why not? There we go. Oh, people of Trodo. Are we allied with the people of Trodo? No, we're not. You know what? Uh, let's, let's actually just get to being allies with them. Screw it. Uh, let's just give them some stuff. There we go. Gave gift. Excellent. Uh, where are these treasure chests? There. Uh, Missy, go open that one. Uh, Brent, go open these. What are we going to get? I need to get you like an arcane robe or something. I swear we had one for you. A box inside a box. I swear I stopped that from being able to happen. Although, to be fair, we got a tiny bit of jade and a master at Rico, but that doesn't really matter. Ooh. Smaller. But we get fire immunity. What's in here? Large bird skin, a master at Bone Gladius in 130. That's not too bad. Reform caravan. Let's go over here. Okay, onwards to the dragon lair. Oh, right, we got some milk. Who's bringing the milk? Oh, I forgot we said it to be delivered to the restaurant. Oh, no. I really want it to be a, a uh, thing where the restaurant would use the food as part of their um, meals, but it's just not. That's not how it works. Right. We've arrived at the dragon's lair. There it is. Istina, maddened manhunter. That's spread out. Where is Brutus? Brutus, no. No, no, no. You just, yeah, go turn round. Oh, God, it's right there. How are we going to do this? Spread everyone out. Let's go up here. I could just use the psychic shock, but I don't really want to. Word of pain for now. There we go. Word of pain. Right, so, arcane pain, zero hours. 
It did absolutely nothing. Okay, Missy, get round, get round. Len, keep running, keep running. Yeah, I don't think you can be set on fire anyway. You're melee attacking Missy. Missy, where are you? Stun it for a bit. There we go. Right, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Everyone hit it, everyone hit it. That barely did anything. Uh, Missy, Missy, you have to run, you have to run. Let's get around that way. Oh god, uh, arcane load's gonna have to go up, I'm afraid. No, psychic shock, psychic shock. Not risky it. Oh. I didn't want to, but Missy probably would have died. Rumors of Ulu's helm. Ertal was good as their word. They have shared all they knew about Ulu's helm. Surely soon it will be yours. Ooh, relic info one out of five. Nice. So what we could do then is, uh, obviously Missy, you finish off the dragon. As you do. Butcher the dragon. That's your healer, aren't you? Uh, can you just tend to Missy, please? There we go. Skylar, you butcher. Missy is arcane overload. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. We got lucky then. Oh, it's a good thing Missy's as good as she is psychically, but because that was um, that could have been bad. Right. Okay, we got the scales, which is kind of what I was after, and we got a little bit of meat or lots of meat. But that'll do. Right. Go over there. Go grab that book. We'll head down there. We'll give Len a magical attunement. Then we'll go fight. Oh, do we have time to fight that dragon as well? No, I think even if we dropped stuff, we would barely make it in time. Let's risk it. It did absolutely nothing. We just lost a load of money. <laughs> so I would have loved to do that, but it's just not enough time. There was not enough time. Check for quest, please. With Jessica. Uh, bandit camp. Sure. Raiders, Raiders. Ice spike. Ooh. Ice spike and camp loot. We get goodwill with House Ambrose. One subject. Oh, we might as well do it for the ice spike. Oh, it's there. I was confused. It's like the same color as us. Um, right next to it. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. We detected a logging camp. They're, they're encroaching on our land. Well, I suppose it's actually uh, Muspelheim's land. But um, yeah, it's an independent faction. I mean, we could just attack it to see if we can grab some people from there. Might not be a bad shout because we just need a couple of intellectual characters. A weaponsmith from Han House Ambrose. Uh, go check for quests then. And then you can trade with them. Ooh, down refugee. A TK's rescue. TK, please be good. Please be good. Oh. <laughs> You're not that good. Uh, unknown threat. Where are you? Right there. Okay, I, I can't really turn that down. We'll get you, but you're pretty atrocious. Another master mage. Unlike the other one we got, you can actually... Which is quite nice. Uh, animal handling cook. Send you to the goose farm. Sure. Okay, and let's see what you've got. You could sell us the panther demigriff. I'm not going to take that. Ooh, German Shepherd. I would like a doggy. Okay, let's take the doggy. Hey, hello, German Shepherd. Right, let's train you up. And I did promise the next animal pet would be Bis... Biscuit? There we go. Biscuit. We've got Biscuit the German Shepherd. I swear I built some props here. Am I imagining that? We got the props mod. I swear I put some props down. It just never got done. Because I did say I was going to do some stuff off camera. And I never did. So I'm sorry about that. There we go. Picnic mat. And we can have a little picnic basket in the corner. Lovely. Uh, we'll get a little water fountain feature there. That'll be nice. Oh, it actually works. That's nuts. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Okay, we've got a proper water fountain. I'm happy with how this inn's coming. I do need to expand here. So we have no marble. I think we've got a lot of granite. Conversion. Ah, brilliant. Before I get into that, that means that we can remove David and we can remove purple. You can combine. You can go to here. There we go. And you can start a prison. So I kind of wanted just an extra little outhouse building for our people. I think so that we can keep this strictly as guests only. Our meat's rotting away, which is a shame. So for the time being, let's just make something really basic, I guess. Okay, that works out well. And that can be a few bedrooms for our peoples, which is actually better than what they've currently got. So I think that's pretty good. Uh, we can keep four people happy. There's five people here currently. There will be four, I think, at any one time. So that's not too bad. You guys set up a prison. Thank you very much. Recruit delivery destination. Uh, what we want to do is we want to recruit... Extract hemogen, and all that's cool. Uh, recruit prisoners. Plus 400 silver. That's not bad. Cool. Right, well, you get recruited prisoners. We can then 
uh, send. No, you know what? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it the other way around. So recruited prisoners go to the church. Say prisoners go to the church. Uh, they can go to the prison. Yeah, go to the prison. So they can be in, uh, so they can be recruited first, then they'll be sent to the church to be converted, and then they are just there at the church. We can do whatever we want with them. So now we have a little setup, so we can have uh, people being constantly captured, converted, recruited, and it's like leave and forget. So that's really really nice. Right. So we've also got these people. Do you want to see what quest they've got? Ooh, they also have prisoner willing to join. Hey, okay, brilliant. A prisoner being held by Mole Monk Monk has managed to steal a radio and call you. Stout is being held a camp near Dragonfall under armed guard. Rescue him or and he will join your colony. He's a 12-year-old child. Oh dear. You are horrendous. There is literally nothing going for you. Literally, the only hope we've got is we're able to get you to, like, grow to tier 3 somehow. And you get a double passion persuasion. A what? Another dragon slayer? What do you mean? They're non-stop. Another plea. For any brave dragon slayers to lend their aid. We got three days for this one. Oh god, it's non-stop. These dragons are everywhere. I do have a mod that uh, increases the amount of those types of quests we get. I may need to dial that back a bit. Okay, right. I think we're okay then. Len seems to have had her fill of rabbit meat. Good. Right. That's all reform caravan. We'll go get this. We'll go take on this camp. We'll go rescue that refugee. I guess we can go get that prisoner camp. Uh, annual Expo and Dragon there. <laughs> we've got quite a lot to do. Uh, once we've done then, I think we will be ready to finally go out into the world. This is nuts. I might need to get rid of that mod that increases the ideology quest being given so frequently because that's kind of crazy. Uh, we've had three quests in the space of uh, the equivalent of about half an hour in real time. So that's kind of nuts. Might need to see if I can scale that back or just get rid of the mod. We will see. We're here. Is there going to be an ambush? Yeah, that's not good. Everyone get back. Get back, get back. Len, get out your magical staff, please. Um, it has one down. Please hit it. There we go. Two more. Hey, we did it. Excellent. Brent, go get this magical tomb. Hey, there we go. Right, persuasion. Okay. Right, one down. All right, natural cheese. Can you work on that leather tent? I would much rather get that done, if I'm uh, completely honest. Because if we can get the prototypes done, we might actually be able to move on to a different research. We need a hundred, just over a hundred. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, it would be good to kind of prototype the other stuff though. Get uh, a meat rack. We'll get weapon storage. We'll get hampers. There you go. You get all them done. That'd be great. Right, and they've arrived at the bandit camp. What is that? We've got a load of elk there. Okay, when we, this is the one with, like, how many people do we have? So it's just one. I think it's just one person here. You are an ogre. A diligent student, drunken master, Fletcher. You're not very good at archery. Okay. Read them after intellectual characters, and you are not that. All right, get butter. Get him. Uh, Lats, your sword, please. Oh, Missy, get back. God, no, no. Oh, we're good. We got stabbed in the liver. I can't remember what we get from this. Uh, what what did we get? Oh, Ice Spike. Yeah, I remember. Right, everyone, reform caravan. So we got another treasure chest. Right, now we just got to get the incapacitated refugee, and we're golden. We run out of food already. You just had seven bread. What did you do with all that bread? <laughs> okay. Where, where are you? Oh, there. TK. Ambush. Um, oh, there's three of them. Um, we got Blur. Ecologist. No. Ruta. No. Sten. <gasps> Ten intellectual. We need you. Um, Missy. Preemptively go up towards Sten. No, 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 no. Come back. Uh, I think I'll stun. There. Run, run, run. Can you get there in time? Yes. <laughs> You're not escaping from me, Sten. Good. Right, and these two are both down as well. Very, very nice. Uh, were you actually any good? 
12 mining, 7 cooking is not bad. You had 12 animal handling and you're an ecologist. Again, not bad. Okay. We're going to take everyone, please. Thank you very much. There we go. That was pretty nice, actually. That was a lot of good stuff. And potentially four new recruits after we've got them. Especially that Sten. Once we've got him, we can actually set up an intellectual settlement, which is really nice. I think Blur's for the goose farm. Ruta. I think for the mines. Uh, or we could send you to the restaurant, maybe. And although, to be fair, you're not bad intellectual either. Uh, 2.4 days. How long are we going to take to get there? One day. I think we're just going to need to get them to power over there. What I could do, split them up. I reckon we get Len to go on her own. Len, you just go to Dragonfall Inn. It's going to take you a day. The others, it's going to take them, what, like a day to get to the church? They can drop them off. They need to then go to the prison. By that point, hopefully then I'll be back and they can join back up to go to the dragon lair. I'm hoping we've got time to do that. Oh, it looks like we're actually going to get the bird leather storage tent done. It's taken a while. Uh, we've got some colony animals have just wandered in, some mega sloths. You have psychic teeth. Oh, cider. That would be nice to get. Uh, dragon spit on that. There we go. You're fine. Fire breath on that as well. And then melee attack it, please. It's already medium. That should be fine. A couple a couple of hits, and we'll be all right. Right. Okay, we did that. That's another 20. Excellent. Go get yourself tended. Let's get that hauled. ASAP. We've actually got some more alcohol, which is very nice. You, then, uh, add pawn. We will add... Oh, there's so many. Uh, TK. There we go. And then go to the prison. And you can be converted, which is lovely stuff. Ooh, items from Barrow. Okay, <laughs> the coastal troll is coming with our granite blocks. Lovely. So we want to add Den. Blur. Why is Ruta on the floor? Um, oh, you've got a mechanical leg. Didn't even notice that. Uh, you'll be up soon. Uh, that's add then Ruta. How long is it going to take you to get back to there, though? One day. Can't you? We can't risk it. You're just going to have to go. How long until that's done? One hour. Okay, send it to Greybringer. These guys can pick it up on the way. Cool. Uh, unfortunately, that does mean that you're going to run out of food here, but natural cheese, you should be able to butcher, please. There we go. We'll get plenty of food on it. That's fine. Oh, that looks nice. I like that. A little sleepy area. And we've nearly got a bed set up. We're doing well. We could do another building, I guess. We've already got five people. We've got four people here. We're going to need like another one. So this is going to be for like our residents. And then we're going to need another one for the people who are going to come back between quests. It's obviously these carrots. We could also do a, like a, maybe another inn. We could do a little shop. I think a shop would be nice. Oh, if we got some linen, we could do proper little tents. Oh, that'd be nice. Then we could, maybe we could get some storage. Like some crates or something. St stick the stuff that we want to sell into them. Have a little, a little market here. Yeah, I like that. I think I might do that. <sighs> We've got another one of these quests. You know what? I'm actually going to get rid. Although, where is it? Technically, this is different. This is a different type of dragon. This is like a normal dragon. Looking like Tonlico. And the other one is more like, I think, a wyvern. So, I guess they are different, technically. Take all the packets of items, please. You go assault the dragons there. Point eight days. And Len is here. Len, go and begin ritual. Go. Len is finally getting a magical attunement level. Well, at least everyone's gathered in the pouring rain for this uh, joyous day. Len's an adult. They're all celebrating. And she's going to finally get a magical attunement level. Linking ritual is complete. You are obviously going to be a pyromancer. Get flame ball. Your arcane load is atrocious. Why is it so bad? I thought you were magically sensitive. Maybe that's just because you're such a low level. Oh, I didn't even notice emerald deposit up here. We'll get that. I think we're going to take the balloon. <laughs> uh, launch Len to... Oh, I'll tell you what. Dadger Cheese. Get in as a passenger. We're going to launch him and he can go to the expo with his 13 intellectual. That'll be nice. Len can then just go the other side and all will be good. And we will launch to there. Right bang smack in the middle of them. Go. I forgot about the fuel situation, but it's fine. <laughs> we'll sort it out. And we'll get them to set up a campsite there. Then Len can join the other group. Natural Cheese can go to the expo. I think that works quite well. Cool. So that's unload pawns. Good. And Natural Cheese. Visit Annual Expo. How long are they going to take? 0.3 days. Then you're there then. You 
Ooh, Caravan has started. The Alley Expo. This theme's is acoustic show. While there are many experts on the topic, most are preparing. The hodgepodge of stalls, some modest, some locally sourced materials, while others are high-tech fabs from Herb Worlds. The Expo turned to be a very cozy get-together, spent jamming on guitars. Someone played Wonderwall, <laughs> but other than that, it was a pretty chill evening. But everyone in good mood. We got six Gojus, 22 cider, telescope, patched leather drum, hard dragon scale, hoopstone ring. And you got 2,000 artistic experience. That's quite nice. And you physically cannot move. Okay, you know what, Len? Go help him out. Go help him back to the balloon. Then you can join the others. You're actually still too heavy. Um, we don't need another telescope. Yeah, just get the, get them back. Right, then reform caravan. There we go. Len, go there. Join up with the others there. Excellent. Right, now they're together. Let's go assault the dragon's lair. Right, natural cheese is flying back. Excellent. And we are just about to arrive at the dragon's lair. It is a red dragon, Albion, uh, with a beer in the middle of the floor. Okay, Missy technically could do a psychic shock. I don't want to, once again, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, they are very, very quick. Might keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Oh, God. Uh, everyone keep moving. Just keep moving, keep moving. It's fine. Len is probably the best person to get hit with that. Melee attacking lats. Get over here, get over here. Uh, attack fireball there. Lats, you're okay. Stay strong, stay strong. You missed. You whiffed it, Len. Again, Missy. I need a stun. I need a stun. Stun, stun. Good. Good. Right, we're, do we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Go on, lads. Do it. Do it for everyone. Maybe do another stun. There you go. We're fine. We're fine. 21 hours. We're doing it. Lats is okay. Lats is okay. 16 hours. 16 hours. Oh, God. No. Uh, another stun. 14 hours. 14 hours. Lats, I think I need to get you out of there. Fly out there. Right, we're fine. We're fine. Get out your bow. Get out your bow. Where is it? Uh, man attacking Missy. Missy, get away. Get away. Um, What I'm going to do... Drop Oathtaker. Brent. Uh, equip Oathtaker. Go. Attack. You get away. You get away. Then get back. Right. Get there. Get there. Uh, we're already past the arcane load. Brent going to be okay. I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. Nine hours. Severe. Go on, Brent. Do it. Okay, headshot. Headshot. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Seven hours. We did it. Okay. House Oswing quite liked what we did. That's very nice. And we got another rumor of Ulu's helm. Very, very happy with that. Honestly, that, that went a lot better than I was uh, expecting. So, Brent, word of healing on Lats, please. Let's set up a butcher zone. Skylar, you get on that, please. That could have ended badly for Lats, but we, we got lucky. And we got a dragon horn and a load of dragon scales in the process of meat. I'm pretty happy with that, so I think I'm going to call it a day. We got two pieces of information about Ulu and where her helm is. I think on that note, and seeing as I think that was probably the most legitimate monster hunt we've ever done, I think I'm going to call it a day. So, thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you'd like to listen, please leave a like and subscribe. A massive thank you to all my Patreon and YouTube members. Clint, David, Lem, Belise, Lord, Lord, T. Kales, Torman, Natural Cheese, Mike, Sandra, King of Thorns, Skylar, Virtual, Charles, Mint Salad, Lax, Brian, Lloyd, Heretic, and Codry Pierce. Cheers, guys. You're all amazing. Thank you so much for your support. It means the world. So, thank you so much. So, cheers, guys, and I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.